We don't know yet what caused the mechanical failure on the Walla Walla. It is one of the older vessels, and some say this is a clear indication that we need to invest in a new fleet. One of our viewers in Port Angeles had a very special request for us. Leah Pizzetti joins me now with that ask, Leah. Yeah, Madison, check out this picture. It's beautiful. It was taken by a man in Port Angeles who loved there are two main reasons for this delay. One is a staffing shortage and one is a vessel shortage. The agency had originally thought it would have increased service levels up and running for these routes by this year, but they say that is not going to happen until they can fix these shortages. Yeah, Jake, Mimi, good morning. Well, Washington State Ferry says they are operating off a very limited staff right now, so there's no easy fix or solution. So what they have to do is cancel a lot of routes, and that's impacting a lot of you at home. So this morning over is under control. They still have some work to do. You can see smoke is still coming from the roof. It really is a sad story for these owners who just posted yesterday saying that they were really upset, not sure what happened here. Then this happened again. So firefighters again are working on this right now. Once we have any more updates for you, we will let you know. Of course, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. But once we have any more information, we'll bring that right here to you on King 5 News. Live here in Issaquah, Kira L. Fallen, King 5 News. And we do know that a similar description of a vehicle was seen leaving this area as well. We've reached out to several law enforcement agencies to get more information and to figure out how all of this started and if they have any arrests or information about those suspects we saw continuously on the same surveillance video from multiple locations. In Maple Valley, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News. Security says these types of smash and grabs tend to happen in the early mornings between 2 to 5 a.m. That's when he's asking Seattle police for more patrol to ask more cars driving by uh, in the area so that businesses don't have to suffer crimes like this and merchandise stolen again in $10,000 amount just this morning alone. But we're going to continue to follow this story and bring you the latest here uh, on King 5. But for now, reporting live in Seattle, Angelique Hockaday, King 5 News. It has to be frustrating for that. Now, I also tried reaching more by phone, but there was no answer. Again, the city says at this time, no additional information will be released. Bob in Tacoma, Jim Nelson. Playoffs beating Colorado, uh, the Winter Classic. Uh, it was pretty sweet. Um. Well, firefighters have been here throughout the afternoon, putting water on the hot spots. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see there's still a lot of smoke coming out. Asking anyone with information to simply call 911 or give them a call during normal business hours. Want it to be a little bit tapered on the edges. Tapered on the edges. You'll see why. Just this week, meaning Bellevue's not the suspects. Kids have county sheriff's deputies are investigating what they say is an apparent car bombing. The back of a Mercedes blew up and the owner told deputies he saw someone place a black box with a flashing red light underneath it. It's Tacoma. This morning, Tacoma's police chief Avery Moore is back on duty after being placed on administrative leave last week. City manager Elizabeth Pauley tells So how this relationship will be managed is going to be key for the country. And finally, another thing that investors are really interested in is what's going to happen with the state oil company Petróleos Mexicanos or Pemex. This is the world's most indebted oil company and it has a lot of support from the government. So whatever the next president decides to do to move forward will be key.